Hi, this tutorial introduces the double gradient colorization tool, which colorizes a d-hour based on a two-dimensional gradient derived from the values of two different data keys. This is useful when analyzing two corresponding sets of data, such as temperature and humidity. The tool is found under the d-hour colorize tab and requires a series of inputs. First is a set of d-hours, and then it'll require the names of the two keys which you want to map. So I'm going to choose dry bulb temperature and copy that name into a panel. And for the second, I'll choose humidity. And I'll plug that into key B. So to visualize this gradient colorization, let's plug it into a heat map. And we can simplify our viewing in Rhino by calling out the colorized mesh and turning off the heat map preview. And now we see a full spectrum of values, which are representing both the temperature and the humidity. This defaults to a specific set of colors, where when both keys are high, the tone is red, when one is high, the tone is yellow, when the other is high, the tone is blue, and when they are both low, the tone is white. Now, these tones are set to the maximum and minimum values of this particular data set, so if we want to compare this map against another, we will need to standardize this by setting the range of colors to a quantitative set. So I'm going to set the ranges for both dry bulb temperature and relative humidity and just copy down these panels. And to set my range for temperature, I want to choose values that will definitely be beyond the temperatures in my set, but not light years away from it. So I'll choose negative 10 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. And plugging it in, we just note a subtle shift in the tonation and changing the range for relative humidity to 0 to 100 percent. We again notice a slight shift in tone. Now if this color spectrum isn't what you're after, it is able to be customized. You can redefine the colors that represent the relative highs and lows for the keys. You can do this by plugging in a color swatch, and making it either more monochromatic or potentially more intuitive to you based on what keys you have defined. Well, that wraps up double colorization. Thanks.